5650. I'm pursuing this CPU because um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more and more CPUs like this. And uh, I have a question. Last time we played, uh, it was with a 1070, and today I'm thinking on a 3060 Ti. I'm interested in ray tracing and see how much this CPU, this uh, CPU can uh, hold when it comes to a video card like this. How much bottlenecks? Um, and to be fair, is it okay to throw a video card like this on a platform or a, to a CPU like this? Because there's a lot of games that I want to show you today, and uh, some of them they are really fantastic. And uh, I'm curious how it's working with this computer, with this CPU, with ray tracing. This is a kick-ass video card because you know 3060 Ti still nice and the 40 series didn't came out low quality preset the only thing i'm curious is ray tracing and how global illumination low ambient occlusion low medium reflection shadow on oh, yo, 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 yo. Ho, ho. stop calm 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 down come down come on there 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 gig of system ram this is interesting It shows you that without 16 gig, you can do nothing. Mama, chipedardas. Damn. How's your M? Yes. Ultra high V-Sync off. Dynamic resolution scaling on. Penetrate geometry, history, render scale, volumetric cloud, fidelity FX, ultra high. Ray tracing vehicle. But I swear I, I thought it was V-Sync on. They look so interesting, those cores, how they are performing, you know, with this video card, but. Uh, for some reason, all of the sudden I see this GPU like uber hot, even though the, 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 the fan is maxed out, you know, 65 degrees, what the heck man, and I, I actually see 90% loaded. Ninety 90% load on, on the GPU, yes. Go for it, go for it. Oh my god, the card is dirty. Ray trace reflection quality high. This game has ray tracing, yes. The resolution was just a joke. I didn't want, I didn't expect you to start the game like this. Come on, fam. Okay, did you finish loading your map? Okay, so the game managed to stabilize. So I can play it with maximum details. 5650, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Um, please take my apologies at the beginning. I thought you were 100% fully loaded. Yes, I love you. Give me more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, pick, 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 you Utilizing high, ultra, ultra water texture, post uh, motion blur off, deep depth of field, high, that's actually good. F FSR quality, ultra quality. <laughs> Look at it, 50, 60% CPU load. Would you want more? Would you want more? Would you want more? Look at it. 50-60% the CPU, 50-60% the, the GPU. It's like they this a match made in heaven for this game. Seriously. That's it. You feel better now? 
51 FPS. Alright, the, the CPU is mega loaded, I'm not gonna lie. 70% load on the GPU, that's actually nice. And 7.8 gig of system RAM. Ray tracing ultra, quality high. DLSS auto. How about we put it off? Well, fantastic then. The CPU that managed to surprise me with an RTX 3060 Ti. I'm not gonna lie. The cores are there, doing a really fantastic job, you know. Pushing the GPU to its limit, you know. It's, yeah, it's 31, 33 FPS, but uh, if you wanna just explore Cyber Twat and uh, you want to have it at maximum details, you can actually do it with the CPU and this GPU. Right, so we, we are in Forza Horizon with, I'm not gonna lie, with the 5650, yeah, with the 3060 Ti. Oh, yes, look at the spikes. The spikes are real. Yo, 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 I can't control the car kind of horrible when it comes to minimals and lows. Nah, I don't want this. Yo, 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 Why am I doing this? Seriously. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Look at the CPU I was doing. <laughs> oh, you're maxing out the, the, the course. You look at it. I'm gonna go in quality. This is maximum. Yeah. Ray tracing ultra. Surface scattering, bloom effect, depth of field. It's so basic stuff, yeah. DLS quality. Let's put performance, yeah. I'm gonna put load. This is not something that I, I would really like to enjoy, and uh, it does give me, you know, the option to play with ray tracing. I can benefit from the GPU, but um, the CPU is not doing any justice to this video card. It doesn't matter. 21 FPS. Nope. Not okay. Damn, let me, let me explain to you why this game is important when it comes to ray tracing, yes? All right, so ray tracing, enable DirectX 12, it's got ray tracing on uh, high, that's it. Render scale 99%, quality high. Fresh display aspect ratio. All right, fantastic. Quality shadows high, high, high. Terrain, water, volumetrizing, motion blur. Oh yes, it looks fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. Fifty-six fifty. Thank you for your blessing with this video card. I really appreciate it. I'm good. Damn. 30 40% on the on, on the load on the CPU and the same on the GPU. But look at the system RAM. It's got over 10 gig of system RAM. But it's fantastic. It looks beautiful overall. Do I recommend the 3060 Ti for the system? Of course not, but just in case you got it for free, then <laughs> Yeah.
Why not? All right, World of Tanks, thank you for having us. Today we're gonna use this one, Ultra SD. Apparently there is Ultra HD, but I didn't manage to put everything inside there, so... Excuse me? What's the point of this? Is because this game has... Uh, Ray tracing inside with that core engine. The CPU is not bottlenecking, so we are good to go. If I had an RTX 3060 Ti with the CPU, I will take it all day because it, it, it does a really good job with it. Oh yeah. You f it up, boy. You f it up. You f it up. Oh. Oh, you, you think you're doing... You, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, Barask, let me let me tell you something. Oh, Crystal, oh, my God. Yes, you, where are you? I don't even know where you're going. This is a very nice CPU. I have uh, multiple CPUs that uh, will go into this computer, but this is one of the things that I wanted to see how much an RTX 3060 Ti can do for an old GPU for an old CPU like this because this is very old comparing it to a 3060 Ti you know so yes it does it does right to the CPU but you can feel the bottleneck every single minute it reminds you that this is an old CPU 5650 Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell it, <laughs> it's worth it. You know, if you build the system like this, with, I mean, you can have lots of fun, you know, for, with this combination. And uh, you can keep the GPU and you can update the system in the future. So yeah, I hope I can find a couple of uh, 1366 uh, CPUs, you know, so I can try to find the best one so I can put in the computer to see how it's performing with an RTX, you know, because if you find a better one, maybe it doesn't bottleneck like this one. I felt the bottleneck in this 5060, 5650, 50, 50, 50, you know, but uh, yeah, this is it. This is my first CPU, then I will swap it and uh, I'll see a couple of others. Um, I do recommend it. I do love the CPU. I love the combination with the 3060 Ti. I think it's it's a nice uh, system. And yeah, what do you think?